Boldness, let us approach the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace as a timely help. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. <clears throat> May your spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, my brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope and resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say there is no resurrection, or angels, or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred and some scribes belonging to the Pharisees party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, <clears throat> my Lord, you, are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup? You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. <clears throat> I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. <clears throat> you will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O oh God, you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who believe. <coughs> Excuse me. Believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me, and I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them, even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known. The love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> okay, so there's some important things we've got to take away from these readings today. Jesus Christ, who is the only begotten Son of God, the beloved Son of God, who does every everything the Father asks of him, is asking one thing of the Father. And he's saying, Father, where I am going, I wish that they may be as well. Where I am, may they also be with me. Okay. Do you think for one second God the Father is going to say, no. My only begotten Son, who I love, who has done everything I've asked, do you think God the Father is going to say, no, I'm not going to let you have these people, these gifts that, that Jesus Christ said they're your gifts to me. I'm not going to let you have these gifts. Not for one second. No! My only begotten Son, who I love, of course I'm going to let you have this one request of yours. These people. Yes, of course. It's, it's insane how simple it is. The only way that we can't be with the Son of God who wants us with him is that we don't want to be with him. Okay, that's the lesson. Let us want to be with him. Let us live our lives according to the will of God as displayed, as example by Jesus Christ with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay, it's pretty simple. And when the Son of God says, I just want them. That's, that's all I'm asking for. Let me have them. There it is. Amen.
grace of the Lord. For those among us who are celebrating an anniversary of marriage, that our Lord may bless their union and bring them closer to Him. Holiness, we pray to the Lord. In this month of May, we pray in a special way for all mothers, both living and deceased, that in Jesus Christ they may know His peace and strength. We pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering, especially those who are afflicted with coronavirus, for those who have lost loved ones, for healthcare professionals, for those working in nursing homes, for sanitation workers, for members of our military, law enforcement, and first responders to communities, for those who are without work, for business owners, that in Jesus Christ they may find peace, and that they may be strengthened, protected. We pray to the Lord. For the intentions we bring with us today, the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we come to you and humbly we pray, we place our petitions before you. We ask that you grant them in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the earth the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts of the Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, Every land of your people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> if the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign with you forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him. 
that takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffering of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go, for I do not go away. The paraclete will come to you, says the Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> in the mysteries we have received, O Lord, pray. Enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of, peace, of the Spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive you, and we pray. And do thou, Christ, that we host by the power of God, cast in hell Satan, and all the evil spirits throughout, throughout the world, saving the world's souls. Amen.